Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group and welcome to another episode of Viewer Q&A. So basically in my viewer, in com in my viewer commentary Q&A, this is an ongoing series of basically questions that people have asked me on various videos on my channel. I go and pick different ones throughout each week, throughout each month, and then I basically turn around and do a dedicated video answering the question or appealing to somebody's concern or, you know, what it is they want to know about some specific thing in regards to voice over IP or internet service or business communications or cellular service or whatever it is. So if you're watching this video and you've got a question about any of the things that I've mentioned or the different topics and subject matter that we cover in this channel, comment on any one of my videos, drop your question, say, hey, Prince, can you do a video about this? And maybe I'll get to your video in a, very, in a future video very soon. So anywho... This question comes from Uma Shankar Bareth, who commented on our video. Let's see here. Bear with me here, you guys. I got a lot of notes in here. Let me see here. Okay, so Uma Shankar Bareth, Bareth commented on our video, can you use IP phones over Wi-Fi? Um, that was the video he commented on, and his question was, how do you connect a mobile phone to voice over IP? So we're going to cover this very quickly and briefly. The answer to the question is, there are three main ways with the current technology on the market at the time of this video to connect your mobile phone to voice over IP. Those three, the first way is call forwarding. So call forwarding is this simple. You go inside of your online panel with your voice over IP provider or you go to your physical phone like the ones I've got behind me. You basically go into a menu option on a physical phone or into a menu uh, area in your online portal that says call forwarding and you tell it the 10 digit number that needs to include the area code of course with your seven digits where you want to forward all your calls. The thing with the call forward is though is to be very clear here is a call forward once you forward the call out, the call is no longer with your voice over IP provider anymore. It is with your cell phone, in this case, that you forwarded to. So if you don't answer, somebody's going to get your personal cell phone voicemail. They're not going to get your business voicemail. So that is one way that you can connect your mobile phone to voice over IP is call forwarding. Any carrier that you guys have seen me talk about on my channel or any legitimate carrier for that matter supports call forwarding. You just go in, program it. All of your calls that come in into your business number with your voice over IP carrier will go out to the mobile phone and then it, will, it won't stop until you disable it. One more thing I want to make, I want to be very clear about is keep in mind with a call forward, if your cell phone is turned off or the battery is dead or you are out of area, anytime that any calls are forwarded to that number, your call will go straight to your voicemail of your personal cell phone. So just keep that in mind or business cell phone or whatever it is that you're using, whatever it is cell phone that you're using to forward the calls to. The second way that you can use voice over IP on a mobile phone is simultaneous ring. Simultaneous ring is kind of like a hybrid of call forwarding. It is a thing that you would from that you, you cannot set this from your physical phone. Simultaneous ring always has to be set up from either the mobile app on your phone, well no, not the mobile app, I'm sorry, forget about that. It has to be set up in the portal of the voice over IP carrier that you're using, in the administrator or the user portal for the extension that you wish to simultaneously ring calls from. When you go and set that up, what happens is, is your extension, i.e. your phone, like uh, your desk phone, like the ones behind me, will ring at the same time that your cell phone rings. So your cell phone will be ringing and so will your desk phone. If you pick up the call on your desk phone, your cell phone stops ringing and then you're on the call. If you pick up the call on your cell phone, your desk phone stops ringing and then you pick up the call. The beauty of simultaneous ring is, unlike call forwarding, where if you don't answer the call, it goes to your personal cell phone or your business cell phone voicemail, if you don't answer the call, your voice over IP provider detects that the call has not been answered and it pulls that call back and it drops that caller into your business voicemail on your voice over IP system or voice over IP extension that you've got. So I always highly recommend simultaneous ring if you need to get calls on a cell phone over call forwarding all day, every day. In short, 
simultaneous ring is the new call forwarding, is the best way to put it. So, way number three to connect your mobile phone to voice over IP, and this is probably my personal favorite way that I use personally, and it is also the best way in my opinion, especially with everything that's going on currently, with people needing to social distance and work from home, and you know, be able to work mobily and all that kind of stuff, and be able to have the ability to, to stay connected even though they're disconnected from a social and physical uh, standpoint, is mobile app. Every single legitimate carrier out there has a mobile app. What is a mobile app? And I'm gonna tag above here um, maybe a couple of different videos that I did on different various mobile apps. A mobile app is basically a virtualized version of your extension or your phone on your cell phone. It is quite literally your voice over IP phone or phone system on your cell phone. You can take calls from it, you can make calls from it, and never have to ever give out your personal cell phone number ever, and you will always have the appearance of being on your office phone. No one would ever know that you were taking the call on your cell phone or making the call from your cell phone unless they hear a motorcycle or they hear that you're out and about. It will always come up as your business caller ID. You can even put people on hold when you're using a mobile app on your cell phone and they will get the hold music of your business phone system. You can transfer calls to other people within your organization from your mobile app. You can conference people in. You also have segregated voicemail, text messages, everything that is completely segregated in the mobile app from your personal cell phones, text messages, voicemails, and caller ID. It is literally virtualized voice over IP on your cell phone. So mobile app, in my opinion, is the number one way to connect your cell phone to voice over IP, and you would never have to give out your personal cell phone number to anybody. I use the mobile app on my cell phone all day long. When I go out to run errands for my kids, if I go to the dentist, the doctor to make groceries, nobody knows what my personal cell phone number is. None of my clients know what it is because I never give it out, and I don't have to. They don't need to know what it is for me to be able to call them from the mobile app and still have all of the function and feature of my voice over IP system, or for them to call me and be able to get a hold of me and still get access to my professional voicemail and to our virtual receptionist and all that. So mobile app, in our opinion, is the number one way to connect a cell phone to voice over IP. So anyways, one thing I wanna point out is all of the features that I've mentioned, call forwarding, simultaneous ring, mobile app, these are all included features with any legitimate carrier. All of the carriers that you guys see me talking about on our channel and many more that I don't talk about that we even represent, they all include these functions and features, call forwarding, simultaneous link, ring, and mobile app for each respective user that has an extension. It's a given with all carriers. There's no extra charges or extra fees for any of this. Let's see here. So. How do you know which one of these features is right for you if you're somebody out there who's using a mobile phone or has a team of employees or staffers that needs to be able to have access to voice over IP through their mobile phone? Well, one number one way that you can find out which uh, carrier and which functions and features is right for you is to call me. My service is free. I do not charge anything for my consulting with you and your business to help you figure out what phone service, phone system, or even phones is best for your business. I am 100% compensated by the carriers, so give me a call. I can you know, talk with you briefly over the phone and find out exactly what it is you're trying to accomplish with your phone system. Once I know that and I have a general idea of what your budget is and how many users you have, I'll be able to easily recommend to you a service provider that fits your needs, feature set requirements, and also your budget and has the functions that you need uh, that we've went over today. So anyways, my service is free. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel. We release three video we release videos every single week. Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, your go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. I'll talk to you guys again in the next video.